thank you, Father, through Jesus Christ for all of us who are called to your heavenly calling. In Jesus' name, we bring these requests and petitions for you on our own behalf. To the throne of God, confidently and boldly, thank you, God, for sending your word, the Lord Jesus, and healing us and delivering us from our destructive habits and anything that's coming against us. We give you thanks for your loving kindness and for your wonders to all of the people of the earth. And we pray that we will offer you sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of your works with joyful singing, giving testimonies, Lord, and praising your faithfulness. And Father, we pray that we would give attention to your words and incline our ears to your sayings, and that we would not let them depart from our sight, that we may be able to keep them in the midst of our hearts, because they are life to us, and they are health to our body. Thank you, Father, that because we serve you, you will bless us. You will bless our bread, you will bless our water, and you will remove all of our sicknesses. And Father, we pray that our souls would bless you and that we would not forget any of your benefits, God, that we would make use of all the things that you offer us. You pardon our iniquities, God. You heal our diseases and you redeem our lives from the pit. You give us power over bad habits, power over sin. Sin has absolutely no power in our lives, God, and you crown us with loving kindness and compassion. Let us be able to be your hands to the elderly, to the orphans, to the widows, to the people who lack justice. God, let us perform your righteous deeds and judgments for all who are oppressed. Father, thank you that the spirit of you, God, who raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in us. And that because you raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you will also give us eternal life. I thank you, Father, that Jesus himself bore our sins on the cross so that we can be completely forgiven now and forever. Let us die to our sin. Oh, wait, we already have. We're living in righteousness, for by your wounds... God, we are healed. We are healed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. It is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. In order that Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham, might come to the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Thank you that we have received it, that we belong to Christ and are Abraham's offspring and heirs according to his promise. Now we're going to be able to meet him when we go into heaven. Oh, Father, Christ gave himself up for us that he might sanctify and cleanse us with the washing of water by the word and that he might present us to you, God the Father, not having any spot or wrinkle. We have no blemishes. We are holy. We are perfect in your sight, God, because of what Jesus did. And I pray, Father, that whatever we do in word or deed, that we would do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to you. Thank you, Father, that we have put on righteousness. It clothes us, and that justice is like a robe and a turban to us. Father, I pray that we be clothed with strength and dignity. I pray that we also clothe ourselves with humility toward one another. For you are opposed to the proud, but give grace to the humble. And I pray that we would humble ourselves, O God, broken and contrite spirit. Therefore, under your mighty hand, exalt us, God, at the proper time. And Lord, we cast all of our anxiety unto you because you care for us and you asked us to and we cast all our worries on you. We turn all of our worries into prayer at all times. Whenever we have a worry, we turn it to prayer. Father, no one will look down on us, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity, we will show ourselves in this example of those who believe like Israel was to the nations. And Father, we pray that we would abstain from all appearances of evil. Glorify your name, for you are worthy to be praised. And I pray, Father, that we discipline ourselves for the purpose of godliness. For bodily discipline is of little profit. It feels good, though. So it's good to work out, and I thank you that you've given us the passion and the ability to go work out at gyms. Godliness is profitable for all things, since it holds the promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Let us make way for you to enter into our lives the spiritual disciplines, God praying on mountains, waking up early, Lord. Help us to wake up early, God. Spend time in your word, meditating on your promises and meditating on Christ with us, Emmanuel. Father, we pray that we would glorify God in our bodies, for we have been bought with a price, and we're not our own, God. We're yours. We're a temple of the Holy Spirit. I pray, God, that we would not hurt or destroy our temple, for your temple is holy. We are holy, God. Thank you, Father, that we are a building being fitted together and growing into a holy temple in the Lord in whom we are all being built together into a dwelling place of God and the Spirit. I pray, Father, that we would cleanse ourselves from all wickedness, 
but you already have done that for us, God. So we thank you for doing it. Thank you for making us vessels of honor, that we are sanctified and useful to you, prepared for every good work, to do the good works that you predestined us to do. I pray that we would flee from youthful lusts, God. Stand firm, though, when the devil comes. God, that we would pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on you, God, from a pure heart. Let us practice your presence by being with those who love you. God, we pray that we would refuse foolish and ignorant speculations, knowing that they produce quarrels, Lord, and that we would keep our mouths pure, that no unwholesome words would come from our mouths. Father, in regards to attitude, we thank you that we have been called to freedom. We pray that we would not turn our freedom into an opportunity for the flesh, that we would not complain, God. Through love we may serve one another, but the whole law is filled in us loving our neighbors and having faith in your promises. We believe in you, Jesus. And we pray, Father, that we would forget what lies behind and reach forward to what lies ahead, pressing on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And if in anything... We have a different attitude, Father. We pray that you would reveal it to us. So, Father, we pray that we would do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, let us regard one another as more important than ourselves. Let us not merely look out for our own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. I pray that we would have the same attitude in ourselves, which is also in Christ Jesus. Lord, bless us. Bless us, God. Bless us. Increase our ministries. Keep us from evil. O oh Lord God Almighty, that we might not cause pain. Make your face shine upon us, God, and let our faces glow with your presence. Be gracious to us and lift up our countenances, God, and lift up your countenance upon us. Give us peace. Cause us to increase and abound in love for one another, for all men, so that you may establish our hearts unblameable in holiness before you at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all your saints. Father, I pray that we would fear you and keep your commandments, God, the commandments of faith and love. For this is the whole duty of us, God, and it's what you require of us. Oh, God, help us fear you. Let us walk in all your ways and let us love you and serve you out of our whole hearts, Lord. And with all of our souls and with all of our minds and our faculties and thought of quick apprehension, intelligence, keenness of discernment and moral understanding, and with all of our strength, in the name of Jesus Christ, Seal this prayer by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Extremely thankful. And Father, your covenant is love and faith. You've forgiven all of our sins. And your spirit is on us. And you write what you want us to do in our hearts. Lord, we can hear you, and we know where to go. We can discern because you give us peace or you give us a heart check. And Father, we pray that your words would not depart from our mouths, but that we'd speak your word into existence and speak in faith. That the families would have so much faith, God. So much faith, Lord. So much faith. And Father, we pray that their descendants would be blessed mightily. And Father God, we pray in Jesus' name that you would help them grow, Lord, together as a family unit. And we know that families are being attacked, God, because they're so powerful for your kingdom. And so, Lord, we pray for unity in the family, that they would understand and know how to pray together. Pray that you would rise up a generation of families, God, who pray together and who know how to do spiritual warfare, that you would unite the prayer armies, God, of the entire world, and that we would bring revival. How is it, Lord, that in kindergarten it's not mandatory to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Lord, change everything. Cause everything to be made to your glory. Let every knee bow, Father. We are so excited for heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. In all matters of wisdom and understanding, when we are consulted, that our counsel will be found to be ten times better than the counsel of all those in the whole country round about. You would make us counselors, God, to those in our lives. Speak through us to us. Speak through us to others as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.